inclusive hiring, Ohio State leads the way. When the governor's inclusive award was created, it was to say, we need to make sure businesses look at that and go, hey, how can we replicate that? How can we also be in that league to make sure our workforce understands that we're an inclusive employer? Throughout its application, the university and the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center demonstrated a clear commitment to building and maintaining a community that reflects diversity and improves opportunities for all, including all qualified individuals with disabilities. And Ohio State scored the highest out of 100 points available. And so we're here today to recognize Ohio State for that. We are pleased to be here. It's such a great privilege for The Ohio State University to be recognized as an inclusive workplace from our recruitment and hiring practices to supporting our faculty and staff and students with workplace accommodations and accessibility. I'm delighted to receive on behalf of this incredible institution, the Governor's Inclusive Employer Award. And on behalf of all of those who work to make Ohio State an absolutely inclusive place for everyone to learn and work. I've often said the vision for my presidency for The Ohio State University is for us to become the absolute model of a 21st century land-grant university. And in thinking about the remarks for this morning, this is another example of how we become that absolute model is to be absolutely inclusive. And I think when you see what Ohio State does, they're not doing it for the recognition. They do it because it's part of the culture. It's about what Ohio State and being a Buckeye is all about. Information on the reasonable accommodation process is provided in each job posting, reviewed during the onboarding, and is readily available to current employees who may have a need for an accommodation. That's really important. For generations, we've been caring for a lot of patients who have disabilities, whether it's from an accident or something that is congenital. Working to give people the opportunity to lead a better life and oftentimes join the workforce. This award, though, extends that work beyond patient care to actually helping people gain a livelihood uh, in our environment. And it makes us a better place to work, a better place to learn, and certainly a better place for those patients to be cared for because we understand uh, the accommodations necessary for uh, uh, those individuals being able to join the workforce. And I want to especially thank our students, talented and caring. They are learners and leaders who are also committed to building and maintaining a diverse community, eliminating harassment and discrimination, and improving opportunities for all. Being a more diverse and inclusive community is a core value and goal of our institution. It helps us to become more dynamic in a more innovative university. But that's not why we strive for diversity, equity, and absolute inclusion. Because what if the counterfactual were true? What if we wouldn't be more effective or innovative because of diversity? Would that mean we wouldn't do it? No, we do it because it's the right thing to do, it's the moral thing to do, it's the just thing to do. And I'm committed to advancing diversity, equity, and inclusion, not just with words, but in actions. The Ohio State University being recognized as an inclusive employer is something I'm incredibly proud to celebrate with all of you today. Thank you again for this great honor, and go Buckeyes.